Hello everyone, and welcome to this tutorial to install CamFX for Blender. Go to Edit, Preference, Add-ons, and install and select the zip file. Click on Install Add-on. After the installation, check CamFX to activate it. Don't forget to subscribe to our social networks. Check that Save Preferences is selected. Let's close this page. Open the N panel with the shortcut N on the keyboard. In the tab B Production, find the add on cam FX. To use the add on, create a new camera or select an existing camera and click on Load Camera Effect. Our camera is now set up. Let's discover how to use bokehs with cam FX. Let's clean up the scene and place the camera in the center to see it more clearly. Select the camera and go back to the B Production tab. Let's add a small sphere that will serve as a reference to set our bokeh. Let's position it far in front of our camera and add a Power 10 light shader to see it. Let's activate the rendering mode to see the result. Only with cycles, EV will not work. Let's go back to our camera and check Bokeh to activate it. Let's unroll the menu. Select the category that suits you and click on the image to see the different Bokehs appear. The important settings are in the camera settings at the bottom. This is a shortcut to the existing camera options. A Bokeh is a blurred area. The sphere should not be in the focus area. I change the distance focus so that the sphere becomes blurred. We begin to see the rendering. A second important parameter is the scale, i.e. the size of the bokeh. If it is too small, we will have this result. That is to say, a square in a circle. The bokeh is too small. You have to increase it with the scale parameter. It is still too small. A little more. This is better. 1.4 is too much because the image becomes too dark. I'll go back to 1.2. The other important parameter is the f-stop. This is the amount of blur in your image. 0.1 will have a lot of blur and a very short sharpness area. Now the bokeh is too small. We need to enlarge the scale. It is still too small. Still too small that we see the borders. Now it's good. These are the three most important parameters to adjust the bokeh. The scale, the focus distance, and the f-stop. This bokeh is not very bright. There is not much light area, compared to this one where there is a lot of white. To correct this, increase the exposure slider. Now let's look at the other parameters. The bokeh materials to change the hue, saturation, value, and blend factor. Rotation allows you to rotate the bokeh image, and distance is a parameter you probably won't use. It is the distance of the bokeh shot from the camera. If the shot is behind the camera, the bokeh will not be visible. If it is too far in front, it will look strange. Let's leave the default value. In the camera settings, we have seen the focus distance, which allows us to define the zone of sharpness, but we can also define it by choosing an object. The ratio allows you to give interesting effects to your image. For example, let's add other light sources and change the ratio to 3. The bokeh image is crushed and will give you an original look to your images. A good way to adjust your bokeh is to choose a very original bokeh like this cross. Earlier I showed you the image of one with too small of a scale. You can see it clearly here. Now let's see the problem with one with too big of a scale. The image will be distorted and will come out of the bokeh. Once you have made your settings, you can start creating your scene. What I mean is that the setup can be long and tedious. To make it easier, set up your scene with simple elements. A camera, a small light source in the center of your scene, and a very original bokeh. Remember, three fundamental parameters. The scale, the focus distance, and the f-stop. Let's discover now the other CamFX feature. The Lens Dirt. I check Lens Dirt in the add-on. A new plane appears in front of the camera. It is him who will create the effect. 
To adjust the effect and facilitate its implementation, we will load a light source. This can be a light source from Blender or a HDRI map. I go to Transportation and load a HDRI map. I see the HDRI map in the background. An interesting option is the lock camera to view. It allows to move the camera according to the viewpoint. Let's look for a light source like the sun. We already see the influence of lens dirt. These are the small particles around the sun. To better see the lens dirt, we can check transparent to make the HDRI background disappear. Let's unroll the options. Choose your category and your image. I choose lens dirt 2. The first parameter allows you to change the scale of the image. The color mix will color the lens dirt according to the color chosen below. Here is red. The dirt intensity allows you to have a small effect around the light sources, or on the contrary, a very pronounced effect, and the opacity makes the effect appear or disappear. As for the bokeh, the important thing is the blur. Let's adjust the distance of the focus. If I move it away, the circles become bigger and bigger. The effect is very interesting. The f-stop plays an important role. The distance is the distance of the shot from the camera. If I move it closer to the camera, it will be even more blurred because it moves away from the focus area. If I move it further away and closer to the focus area, I will have a less and less pronounced effect. This way, it's much better. Don't forget to compensate the brightness. Perfect! The result is satisfactory. The setting is finished. We can activate the background. We now have the lens dirt effect and the background. When we move the camera to an area where there is no light, the effect disappears. It appears again when we approach a light source. What is very interesting is that we can mix the two effects. Just check both. And here is the result. Again, we have to adjust the scale of the bokeh because it is too small. Let's increase the scale. Change the bokeh and select this one. The effect is incredible. And this half moon is very interesting too. Let's change the ratio to zero to distort our bokeh. The result is superb. The most important thing to remember is that CamFX is a professional tool. It is intended for experienced Blender users. The setting can be long and tedious. Follow the methodology explained in this tutorial to facilitate the handling of the add-on. Set up a simple scene with few elements. It will be much easier to find the right settings. If you set up a complex scene, you may have to pull your hair out to find the right settings. It is more difficult to see the influence of the settings when there are many elements in a scene. Thanks for following this tutorial and have a happy blend. Enjoy!